in to Good Day. I'm Kaylee Kirby filling in for Amanda Fay today. Yeah, so you know we love local on Good Day and when we can bring the expansive knowledge of the Ohio State University to local kids, all the better. Jess Burns is the 4-H Youth Development and OSU Extension Educator. She's here with a 4-H Camp Counselor. Josie Pena. So, uh, ladies, good morning. Thanks good so morning. much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, so let's talk 4-H yeah. um, and bringing it uh, to kids. Uh, why is that so essential and, uh, and important? So in 4-H, we learn life skills. We're building tomorrow's leaders today, and we know that we need that. Uh, in urban 4-H, we're so much more than sows, plows, and cows. <laughs> uh, we do robotics. We do sewing, woodworking. We do it all. And and right now we're the most excited because we got to meet with our camp counselors last night and we're gearing up for summer camp as we're heading into the cooler months already. Talk to us a little bit about what summer camp entails for kids if they might be interested in doing it. Yeah, so summer camp is a residential camp. It's four days, three nights. Josie here is one of my teen counselors. She's coming to talk to you about the teen counselor perspective, uh, but kids get to go and explore all new activities archery, rifle, canoeing, basketball, and their favorite Gaga pit. So much more. Gaga <laughs> pit? Gaga, Gaga pit. pit. What, is, what is that? It is, <laughs> I would say, soccer, volleyball, dodgeball, all combined it's into intense. one game. It's great. It's that awesome. sounds intense. It's, it's awesome. It sounds a little confusing. Soccer. Is it? It's uh, quite easy. It's okay. very, it is. Okay, all right. So I'll trust fun. you on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Josie, <laughs> talk to us a little bit about the, the teen experience when it comes to 4-H, because you've been a part of 4-H for the mm -hmm. past six years now. Yeah, um, so we go through a lot, and depending on how active you are in, 4-H depending on what you do depends on how much you actually learn and so I'm quite active in it between junior fair board and teen counseling and being just in 4-H in general um, we go we do a lot it's awesome I learn a lot of public speaking skills such as being here today <laughs> um, I also go through just yeah, everything. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, love that. But so let's talk a little bit about the outdoor aspect of 4-H yep. because that's a big part uh, of 4-H. So what have you learned over the past six years? Because uh, I was talking to you earlier. You said you didn't grow up on a farm. No, I did not. I actually lease out my horse. So going through, I didn't grow up riding horses. I didn't grow up doing woodworking. But throughout 4-H, I've done woodworking projects, and I know now how to make my horse jumps. That was my project last year. <laughs> I know how to train my horse, and I actually get a foal this year to help train. And um, I've also done archery, and I didn't know how to do any of that before. And so in being able to just sign up for these projects and do a quick glimpse of how to do these life skills in one year, it learned, you learn so much through it, and it is so much fun. And just being able to say, oh yeah, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. The simple stuff, it's so easy and it's so much fun. It's great learning experiences. Some skills that you probably, I'm sure, never thought you would ever need uh, yeah. <laughs> being a city kid. But both of you mentioned uh, that you really learn life skills, hands-on skills, um, and you guys have youth development uh, mm -hmm. for these kids if they come. Talk. Either one of you can talk a little bit about that development. Yeah, so through the Ohio State University, which is one of two of our land grants here in Ohio, we make sure that all of our activities are research-based and knowledge-based. So not only are kids getting involved in something that's in their spark, whether it is sewing, robotics, or livestock, but they're also learning something along the way. Uh, we're kind of getting sneaky education in there, right? Like we're teaching them financial management, we're mm -hmm. teaching them time management, leadership skills, and all of those wonderful things, where their food comes from. Uh, we're partnering with a wonderful downtown, the youth urban farm, mm -hmm. and we're teaching them how to grow their food, how to process their food, and how uh, what goes into it. Uh, so we're across the lifespan from start to finish, and those skills kids can take from their activities all the way into their adulthood and hopefully find a spark 
in a career path or in their community. Yeah, so I was going to ask that. Uh, how do you think this is going to benefit them long term? Uh, because Josie, you were saying right now it's uh, a community because mm -hmm. everyone knows each other. You guys have a good time. And that's good in your youth as a teenager. But just as these young teens look to grow up and they're going to be the movers and shakers in our community, how is 4-H going to help them in the future? So you guys actually had the privilege to interview one of my recent graduates, Hannah, and through 4-H she found photography and animal husbandry, and now she's in college doing a livestock degree and some photography on the side. So she kind of found her passion, and she's been able to turn it into her degree and her course of work. And so 4-H does that. It helps build those skills, like Josie said, her public speaking skills. Everyone needs public speaking skills, whether you're coming off of a shooting sports range or out of a livestock arena. Someone's going to want to talk to you about those things, and being able to talk to them about it and educate them is what we're all about in 4-H. Love that. And how can people become a part? How can teenagers become a part of 4-H? Yeah, so they can visit lucas.osu.edu slash 4-H. We're also on Facebook, so you can look us up, Ohio State Extension, Lucas County 4-H. We would love for you to get involved. Our teen counselor applications are currently live. Come on to summer camp and learn what it's all about. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank Thanks you, so much for joining both of us today. Thank you. Thank you. When Toledo's most local and longest running 9 a.m. show continues. We go from camp to classy, some classical music to celebrate the upcoming Polish Independence Day. Good day is back in a moment.